Alright, back for round one with a very <laughs> light on land hand, despite playing quite a bunch of lands and uh, also uh, an expedition map. Oh well, have to mulligan. Well, this is keepable, but it's not looking great. <laughs> Holy cow. Jeez, that one lander kind of hurt me. I kept the forest because I, I really I really need the green and actually with all those lands I can cast anything in my deck so unless I, I mean I hope I don't draw more lands but if I don't I should be doing fine. Side Tiger. This card is pretty bad but it's gonna be quite decent here but don't play that. I mean I, I really I'm not I'm not saying that I mean I can understand people thinking that it's good but I think I have enough experience with that set to know that this card is just not good enough. But since I don't have anything going on right here, it could be decent for the opponent. I guess we'll see. I mean, I'm saying it's not good, but I could see that killing me. I mean, in 7 turn I'm dead if I don't drop a creature. But yeah, I really remember that card not being good. The drawback is just quite huge. Undo Cleric is fine if you are playing allies, otherwise not very appealing. IR Rune Expedition, fine. I don't really want to Ideus hand the Cleric now anyway, so I'm gonna drop that instead. And... yes. And pass the turn. Go down to 14. My deck is kinda slow, so Side Tiger might do uh, a good job here at beating me down. Not much I can do though. Next one I guess I can just hard cast a Mold Shambler. I might actually do that. Yeah, especially since the opponent did not play anything relevant. I, I'm, I'm drawing two next turn. I don't have double green yet anyway. Yeah, I think it's just right to cast that and try to block the, the Tiger. I mean, my opponent might have a journey to nowhere. Uh, to get rid of my Shambler, but if they do, oh well. They might also have the treat, but... Yeah, it feels just safer. I would not be surprised if they have Journey to Nowhere. Okay, double clear. That's kind of good in some matchup, but I don't really have a deck that cares about them gaining life. My deck is so oriented towards the late game that uh, this is actually completely fine. And I'm glad I can trade here. Ether Figment. Alright, fine. I guess I'm gonna draw first, but very likely casting that with Kicker. Sea Stalkers. I think hard casting that is just better. Like, my open doesn't really have anything I wanna tap yet, anyway. Expedition map, some more mana, I guess. I don't really want to harrow yet. I'd rather keep that for if I draw, uh, you know, another expedition or my roll e elemental or anything. But here it doesn't seem like very useful. I think I'm just gonna drop the sea stalker, drop the map, probably fetch uh, Oran Reef of Basswood during my upkeep, so I don't draw it because I don't really want to draw that or any land and it's the best land I can fetch and yeah I guess that's gonna be that. I mean it's not like I need the uh, vast food yet but it's you know it's the best land I can get at this point so and I kinda wanna have less land in my library if possible. Could attack with both creatures if I attack with that and, and they have a pump spell, is I don't actually care because I have Ideus and yeah. And I can tap one of the clerics, so it's not trading two for two; it's trading one for two, which I think is fine. Though I guess the cleric doesn't make me want to trade really. 
Yeah, I should have tapped that. I just I was thinking about something else. I was thinking about maybe using ideas and uh, end of turn if they cast something, but I should have tapped a, a cleric. Wasn't paying enough attention. My opponent is really having a hard time. But you know, when you sacrifice a land, you cannot complain about missing land drop afterwards. I don't want to be mean, but. They kind of put themselves in this situation. Again, no, no hard, no hard feeling. Uh, this is this is a reason why why Tiger is just not very good. Like, if do you play that early, you will, you will get a bit of damage, but then what? Then then you cannot cast anything. Like they 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 discarded the beast hunt that they could have casted. If they, I am pretty sure they have at least one or two three drop in their hand, so. Sure, you are missing land drop, but you you would have had your land with the. Uh, yeah, I just don't play side tiger. So they hit their third land, which should mean something decent is gonna happen. If they attack, I'm blocking. I don't really care about any trick they could have. Another arrow. I guess it means I can play my land because I, I'll have enough landfall anyway. Again, I don't mind them blocking using and using a trick I have Ideus hand. I guess I could tap that anyway. Oh well. Okay, that was a chump block. I don't think there's anything that can deal two damage for those mana. Well, I'm glad I'm. I, I'm glad I did not tap the cleric now. That's for sure. Day of judgment. Okay, uh, that's good to know. And that explains the chump block. And if I continue to draw land, I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna be in quite a lot of trouble. Holy crap, Day of Judgment. I guess I sh should start using Harrow so I make it, makes it less likely I draw lands. Yeah, it's probably the move actually. It reduces my chance to draw land and again, given what I have, I just have enough ways to uh, trigger the Landfall, I think. Green Weaver Druid, that thing is not looking great. Do I want to kill the Glade Heart? Well, actually, I have the, the Vast Wood, so it's kind of decent. I mean, it's better than it would be otherwise. I think I kind of want to kill that now. My opponent's at 7. It's gonna. They're gonna drop down to 5 here. Don't really want to give them life. Like, I have a 2 2. I could be able to apply a bit of pressure. I think keeping one harrow in hand is fine though because of a potential expedition top deck or if I top deck my rural elemental. I got a bit flooded here, but I guess my deck tends to get flooded. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I guess there are 5 land land left in my deck, which is a bit less than a third. Or a bit more than a fourth, if you will. Blood Witch. Hello there. The weapon probably cannot beat that card. And it's gonna be a one shot because of its ability. And yeah. Most removal that could kill that are white, so at least not green, I should I should say. So yeah, that yeah, that that should be lethal. Unless they have another Day of Judgment. <laughs> I did not remember that there, there was a Day of Judgment came from that set. But now I, I remember. <laughs> and that card is, is... I mean, Wrath of God are even better in this set than in other sets, I think. Because again, pe people tend to play a, lot, a bunch of cheap creatures and assemble quite a big board. 
So, okay, that's good to know about though. So it's some sort of white green beat down deck with maybe some allies and a wrath of God. Okay. Don't really want the trap. I guess this dude could be decent because of the fact that it's going to be unblockable. Uh, this is kind of good against Wrath of God, but I mean Day of Judgment, not Wrath of God, but I don't think it's great. No, nothing. Yeah. I think it's Sandy Car Far Guide that I want to put in the deck. Not sure what I would cut for that though. I guess my opponent did not show any flyer. White, I mean, white has a few flyers, but not that much. I think makes up for a pretty poor spider. Yeah, I haven't seen any flyer, right? No. I mean, they might have one or two white flyer, but I think this is not going to be a, a matchup in which this is going to be great. So, we'll just side in the forest walk dude and side out the uh, recluse. Turns out Malachi Blood, which is great. <laughs> Especially once the opponent used their Wrath of God already. That that does work. Come on! Give me lands. Uh, I almost want to keep that because if there's one land on the top two cards of my library, three cards I guess, it's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. It's risky, but... Uh, on the top two cards, not three. For some reason I thought I had a scry. It's, it's risky, but... Like, my oven mold to six. Oh, they have a land. Okay, I got my land. How lucky. I think I want to drop the map in case I draw an untapped land next turn. Ease away, playing the refuge doesn't help me. Oh, okay, using that next turn. And yeah, if I draw an untapped land, I really want to use that. And I did. How lucky can you get? <clears throat> so what I fetch with the map doesn't really matter. Probably not the... The Oran Reef Wood, though. It's probably just... It's probably going to be a land I will sack anyway, so... Let's say an island. I don't think it does matter much, though. Um, and next turn we'll cast a territorial bail off, right? Or the refuge plus the sea stalkers. Kind of want to drop that as soon as possible though, because it has landfall. So the earlier it comes onto the battlefield, the more value you'll get. And I want to harrow now. I think that's pretty clear. Probably sacking an island, fetching... I don't really need any color. I guess an island. This way I have triple blue. And the black. Or I guess an island in the forest. But all in all it doesn't really matter. I don't need more fixing. What? That's not something you want to be doing. But you can do it. <laughs> Narrow Escape was a sweet combo with Journey to, to Nowhere. Because you can Journey to Nowhere. Uh, in response to the trigger, you get it back to your hand, you gain fi 4 life, and you remove. You still remove the creature, they don't get it back, and you have another removal left. It's just a very sweet combo. And it's the reason why I, I kind of like this card, but you should probably not use it just to gain 6 life and, you know, miss a land drop. Royal Elemental. Still casting the Bailoth first here. <laughs> why, why on earth would you do that? Like 3 mana, missile and drop, gain 6 life. I guess it's if they did not have a land drop, they did not miss it, but six, 3 mana gain 6 life is just not good. I can tell you that much. Mm -hmm. Alright, you got me. Ooh. Mr. Druid, I like you a little bit. I'm still dropping my land because I, I might want to play the elemental next turn. Now, should I play as a figment or the sea stalkers? 
Either way, I will be blocking with my creature because I don't mind if it dies. I have a discovery. Um, I think it's the figment. First, because it uses my mana better. Uh, second, because... Uh, again, I don't mind blocking with it. And uh, next turn, you know, they might attack and have a trick and then this dies, but then uh, next turn I can Grim, Grim this recovery, the Figment play the Sea Stalker, uses my mana better too. Yeah, I think it's fine. Also lets me be more aggressive, and it's not like I will be able to use that ability anytime soon. Yeah, I think it's fine. My one does have a lot of life though. But what can you do? Cartographer, so I think this fetch is a planes. Yeah, pretty good. So I guess I can drop the elemental and start stealing stuff. And then I force them to use a Wrath of God or they lose. And even if they have Wrath of God, I still have Grim Discovery for the Elemental and a Sea Stalker back. Yeah, I think that's fine. Hello. The drawing is amazing too. I love that card. And it's it's not too strong. Like, it's really, really vulnerable to removal. So you cannot, like, do t t too much crazy stuff with it. It's still very good, but not insane. It's a good, good balance between power and... Uh, you know, it's it pretty much return. You have a removal, or you lose, but pretty much any removal kills that, so it's fine. So let's say the Wrath of God here. Then, then it's fine, I think. And if they don't have the Wrath of God, they lose pretty much. I will not use Grim Discovery until this dies, though, because as long as this is on the battlefield, I cannot lose. So, even it, if it'd be nice to. Uh, get a land, maybe steal something in the creature, I f it just feels like, uh, yeah, I, I want to have, if there's something I want to get back, it's the elemental, nothing else. Nimbus Wing, that's another card I would not recommend playing, but it does block my elemental. Oh, an attack, interesting move. Well, I don't mind m making the trade here. Um, I think if they had the Wrath of God, they would have used it. I can afford to attack with the Royal Elemental. I don't mind if they have a way to kill it. And... Yeah. I guess I can drop the Green with a Druid. It's not a thing I really need. Like, if they have a Wrath of God, it's not the end of the world. And it gives me a lethal next turn if they attack with that, which I think is quite relevant. Don't really want to drop the Sea Stalkers though. First, they don't interact with that. Second, I want to keep them for if they have the Wrath of God, so... Yeah. I guess if they attack, it means they have Wrath of God. Otherwise, it'd be a bit weird. And if they do, oh well. We'll be both at 11. But I'll get back my elemental plus land and drop the sea stalker. No wrath of God. Okay. Interesting. So maybe they have the arrow volley trap. Could see them having arrow volley trap. They probably have Arrow Volley Trap, otherwise this stack doesn't make much, much sense. Uh, I think I will just attack with Big Loss and Ether Figment for that reason. Now that I have stole something, I don't really want to lose my Royal Elemental. Maybe they have nothing, but I don't think it's very likely. Or oh, maybe a Cobra Trap, okay, yeah, this is not what I expected. It's fine though. Yeah, you trap my bill off, I guess. 
Do I want to play the Sea Stalkers? I don't think I want to overextend into a Wrath. Like, I know they have a Wrath, and that's probably the only way they can come back in the game. So I don't see any reason to, to play into that. I don't really see any out for the opponents here, though. I mean, except for Rast, obviously. Anything that's not a Rimval is not going to be good against the Royal Elemental. <laughs> Just the uh, the text is amazing. <laughs> a vortex that devours everything, even the souls of the living. <laughs> this thing is no joke. <laughs> It's clearly no joke. Okay, so this gives vigilance to all allies. It pretty much doesn't do anything right now. So now that the Yabon can have, have the trap, I guess I'll attack with all my flyer slash unblockable creature and kill them. I will also attack with the bail off. I don't mind trading that for three snakes if they want a triple block. I don't think they can do a whole lot of stuff for white green though regarding my flyers and my uh unblockable creature and they just conceded i think all right so that was for you a first round of uh triple tiny car maybe you're familiar with the set maybe not but as far as i can tell cobra trap is playable but not good bard is only good if you have a bunch of allies and it's not even that great cartographer is not great narrow escape is only good if you have the combo with uh, join it to nowhere and then the, the tiger we saw game one is nearly unplayable so yeah if you want to draft a bit of that that's a, that's a sweet set but it's 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 quite different from what you we often see so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and see you uh for round two